on here, just do a little bit of noodling. Practicing is something that we've got to do. There's no way to get around it. If we want to get better, you've got to practice. If you take a look at the section in my channel where top artists give their recommendation, a lot of them talk about practicing. So how do we approach practicing? I personally like what Charles Lazarus said about practicing. He said to practice often and practice for brief periods of time. What he's talking about is basically practice several times throughout the day. And don't try and practice for two hours in a block. Because you're going to fail. Unless you're in school and you've got that kind of time, you're going to not be able to do that every day. You're not going to have that kind of time. So smart money is to break your practice session up into several smaller segments. But when you do this, have specific things in mind. Have a schedule of, of what you want to practice, what you want to accomplish, listed or in a mental checklist. First session, 20 minutes. Warm up, rain study, put it down, come back at lunch. Play for another 20, 25 minutes at lunch, technical exercises. Great. Play your technical exercises. Now you've spent 40, 45 minutes playing the trumpet that day. Then the next section, 20, half an hour. Play some jazz, play some orchestral excerpts, whatever you're trying to achieve, but break it up so that you are doing several segments of practice a day. What's going to happen is your chops are going to be fresh the whole practice session long. Your mind is going to be fresh. What happens after about an hour of beating yourself up in a small little practice room just pounding away on your face and on your mind is your body starts to shut down and so does your mind. You're not going to get as much out of an hour long practice session as you would two 20 minute sessions. You're going to be fresher, you're going to be concentrating harder, you're going to get more out of it. So when you do this, break it down. The other thing to remember is if you're watching TV, put a mute in and sit there and blow on the commercials. Pick it up and like... Just blow through a little exercise like that. Get your fingers and your mind engaged. Practice scales. You can get all your major scales in in less time than one commercial. Guarantee it. So you can cover all your scales, maybe a couple technical exercises that you memorize during commercial breaks with a mute in. It's amazing what you can get done in small pieces of time. Till later, kids. Have a great day.